Welcome to Erotic Chicken Lovers Anonymous. Excuse you? Erotic Chicken Lovers Anonymous, you heard me. We've got a toll-free number. It's called the like button. Press it now. Hit that notification bell, baby. Hit it super hard. Like Colonel Sanders hits the chicken when he's tenderizing it. That's, he would never. He's a perfect angel. He's, he, he, when he wants it, he goes for it. I, now I'm just concerned. What sites have you been looking I'm Tindy Chan. How do you think I got this way? I've known him before. Mm. I didn't used to be called Tindy Chan. Remember, I was Chicken Sankun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I still love that you just evolved after you died. <laughs> just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Shut up! Quiet. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue, you're one of the, you're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in school with you as my teacher. I'm generic protagonist. <laughs> yeah, but they're three day semesters. Oh, you're right. Does no one remember me? I'm protagonist. You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students. Tardiness is unacceptable. I'm calling the principal. I am the principal. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. Who? Yeah. <laughs> Claire. Wait, no, actually. I got it. Oh, oh that was it. Dang it. Not cool. Wait. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks into the room as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into an air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm. Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. Well, yeah, I'm a chicken tender, so I can't really eat much. This like face of despair. <laughs> You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. He's the best boy. I'm gonna give him a rubber ball. Chicken snack, man. Uh, shoot, you're right. Give I'm gonna give him part of myself. Yeah. Part of me will be inside of him and we'll have a beautiful student not, chicken bond. I'm not concerned anymore about the one chick being a zoophile. <laughs> <laughs> will you decide to try to butter him up by having him a treat from my pocket? Yeah, give him the chicken snack. You reach beneath your apron and return a chicken snack in your hand. Spark. This used to be your penis. <laughs> Sparkle's eyes hey, hey, go wide as he locks onto it. Wow, that's very small. <laughs> His <It's> favorite! <laughs> it's covered in peanut butter and everything. <laughs> Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for a new star student. Don't worry about eating it, it'll grow back. The, the, the that's first, the narrator. The first <laughs> professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they want to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. I know, right? And becoming a giant chicken tender. Always be prepared with various dog treats. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. I slurred that a little. Don't worry about As it. As everybody rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Will you sit with Colonel Sanders? Or will you sit with Colonel Sanders? <laughs> I think you'll sit with Colonel Sanders. Hey, Katie, yeah, I need to see you here. Seems no one has claimed a seat next to me, if you're interested. Uh, I'm sitting with Colonel Sanders. <laughs> oh my god. It appears you're he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect up upright <clears throat> posture shows off the seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Will you stop making this weird? <laughs> no. <laughs> Tindy Chan knows what Tindy Chan likes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you for offering me this seat. Oh god. I'd like you to offer me a snack. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> I've only had two rules. Do all you can to... Wait. Do all you can and do it the best you can. I hope you do me the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get that feeling of accomplishment. Oh yeah. Tendy John is moist with honey mustard. Damn right he is. 
Did you just assume my gender? I just gave that dog my penis. <laughs> Your name is Chan. Chan's a girl. Is it? Yeah, Chan's for girls. I don't know. Chan is for boys. I, I thought it was the other way. No. I don't know Japanese. I don't know That's Japanese. so inspiring. Here, would you like my other penis? Yes. I'm a snake. A little off topic if you ask me, but Timothy okay. Chan is actually a snake. <laughs> as soon as you settle into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> what? This is incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz. Will tell me if you are ready for a life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp, your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely looking at you, Pop. That's right. <laughs> Forest to tree, as chicken as to... A slam dunk <laughs> and dunk me in some barbecue. <laughs> What's happening to you? <laughs> you all right, buddy? No. No? A slam dunk as like slam dunk me into some barbecue sauce. Just, just, just click the ants. <gasps> That's wrong. That is not wrong. I have I come from a long line of delicious chicken, and guess what? We were in Space Jam. Come on and slam <laughs> if you want a jam. Just mad at me. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A comically oversized fork. That's wrong. No. KFC is the fork, dude. No, it's a fork. Comically oversized. For the chickens. What food? what food is best for a broken heart? Camel meat. <laughs> I, just love, I just love that you grab it. That's uh, not wrong. That's wrong. Is Sprinkles, Sprinkles a good, a good boy? boy? He is the best boy! He's the best boy. That's right. Do I win? That's the only question that counted. Like a 50-50. Total score is two out of five. Yeah! Ooh. You got two out of five? Better guessing. Shut up, you stupid dog. It wasn't even his line. Oh terrible. no! When I turned to Colonel Sanders, he's looking at my results with visible disdain. He didn't like the camel meat line. You're not going to be the best. You can't sit near Colonel Sanders. Oh no. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. We found the Zodiac Killer. He's right behind me. That's just a picture of Ted Cruz. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Time for lunch. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It looked like a cafeteria. <laughs> it's actually game over right here. <laughs> it makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. Delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of my nose and some other part of my body. My mouth so waters. Do you smell that? It must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? <laughs> no, I just want to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey... I was just, just... Look at Colonel Spit. It's about lunch. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but I... Shush! You stupid piece of... With your blue eyes and your freaking bolt gun and your little weird, creepy, gropey hands! What I, are you doing? I'm Seto Kaiba. Get out of the school! No, it's time to duel. Let us up at the boo, boo lunch! She said shush! Stupid freaking... Mm. I don't. She said, "Woman." In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. It's me. <laughs> Everybody, come get a taste. I am a delicious snack. They call me Chicken Nugget in the parts where I'm from. That must be the smell I smell. Indeed, that smell. <gasps> Look at that mysterious food the student has and created. You hear that he is very talented with his hands, but were the rumors true? They're true. Is this? Oh, <laughs> my mom is in there! Family dinner. <laughs> <laughs> he lifts a large bucket above his head. It, its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, tendies, breaded and fried to a crispy golden tindy crisp finish. 
Cindy! <laughs> Cindy! The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel idea. What a novel concept. Oh, read. I wasn't looking at it. My stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating the rest of your family. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe with the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look at and around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper. <laughs> wow, that's some narration. Thanks. Professional voice. <laughs> I am the true. Oh, nice. I just wanted to see what that did. <laughs> nice. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. Go into Esther, the biblioteca. But that's all I say about that. Well, that's all I'll say Sorry about, about that. <laughs> Howdy, I'm from Kentucky. My name's Colonel Sanders. Gump. Colonel Gump. <laughs> Colonel Gump. Well, hey, you guys I want have. some bubble gump shrimp? You want some bubble, bubble gump chicken? Bubble gump chicken. Bubble gump chicken. That's what I'm selling. Well, that's all I'll have to say about that. <laughs> that's why I did it. <laughs> it's just in the Lipton key meme. Did that's none of my business. Oh. What do you think we want, your stupid recipe, dude? Psh, nah, my dude, nah! Stupid secret recipe. Still a recipe. I'm pedanting on you. I'm shallow and pedantic. <laughs> I clicked your booby in it. I just, uh, drafting at last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, uh, poison. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Got Got you. Okay, two for looking. <laughs> <laughs> He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is looking at his <laughs> sick face. bird. It's Steg. It is Steg. Look at his face, though. Just... Mm -hmm. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick bum. Really? <laughs> you wait bum? to see when a zinger Ashley will, has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just, like, writing in my diary. I'm going through puberty. Dear diary, today... I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a tree gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Did somebody say chicken tender? Tendy Chan arrives! <laughs> you see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Oh, please. Hmm. Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't want it, thank you. I'll take his! Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. Thanks. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his He's face. He's going Super Saiyan! And sand. he tries to turn into a huge Super Saiyan. I didn't know Broly was in this game. He's, a, he's exhilarated and Look. unimpressed. He's super unimpressed. He's, he's Broly. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing! It's literally game over right Testing here. Testing Colonel Santa's food transports you to the beef dimension. <laughs> Eating the chicken <laughs> teleports you to the beef dimension. Yes. Excuse you. Yes. <laughs> Alone with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. <laughs> I'm going to swim towards the light. That will, it's literally game over. Somewhere up ahead, <laughs> a bright light beckons me. You just game I over became the twice. chicken master. The flavors are so intense. I become the chicken. I'm wrapped up inside the chicken, unable to resist. I reach towards the light. It grabs my hand and pulls me closer, closer. My clothes begin to be ripped off. I become the chicken tender I knew I would be until my fingertip connects with the end of everything. I am forever lost in the land of the tender fried chicken bliss. Your mind dissolves. There is no Tindy Chan now. There is only herbs and spices. Eleven of them, to be exact. <laughs> Though Mirian tries to revive you, she cannot. Game, Game over. <laughs> I'll try again. Sure, why not? <laughs> Where's this? Is this going to dump us out at the beginning? I swear to God. If, the, if, you just, <laughs> if it dumps us back out at the beginning. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay. Next time! Gooby!